Okay, an, an unknown substance was reacted with the oxygen, so we're going to be talking about oxides, and then tested alternatively with blue and red litmus indicator. Now you've got to think of blue litmus. Litmus is blue in base and is red in acid. If you pop either of these in a neutral solution, their colour doesn't change. So element X is blue in blue litmus, it's red in red litmus. That means that it hasn't changed. It's it's not acid, not base. Okay, it's neutral. But the oxide, we've got X oxide. It's red in blue litmus, that means it is an acid. Okay, so it's an acidic oxide. Acidic oxides are non-metal oxides, they're to the right of the periodic table. So, which of the following groups of elements could have caused the above results? Carbon, nitrogen, sulfur, they are all non-metals, so that is likely to be the answer. Okay, let's just have a quick look at the other ones. Neon, helium, argon, well they're all, all noble gases, they don't form oxides whatsoever, so it can't be that. Magnesium, sodium, calcium, they are all metals, and metals form basic oxides, so it can't be that. Carbon, well it could be carbon. Aluminium and zinc are metals, once again, metal oxides are basic um, or amphoteric as you get towards the in between acidic and basic oxides. But anyway, it, that can't be it. So the answer has to be A. Because carbon dioxide is acidic. Nitrogen dioxide is acidic. Sulfur dioxide is acidic. These are acidic oxides. Therefore, they have turned the blue litmus paper red.